Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So today I decided to go out and buy an external hard drive for my Xbox One system for two reasons. One, because I have entirely too many games and my hard drive for both my Xbox and my PlayStation are pretty much completely filled up. Two, the Xbox is more of my um, preference, my system preference in terms of console. So for you know NBA Live 16, NBA 2K16, Madden 16, all those games I'm going to be playing on Xbox One. So I decided to go ahead and get a hard drive upgrade just because I'm tired of having to delete games and reinstall games whenever I want to play them. So I did go and I picked up this Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive from Best Buy today and I'm pretty much just going to show you guys how to install it. It's very easy but the reason why I decided to go with the 2 terabyte version is just because that's probably all the space I needed on um, the Xbox One system when you do install the hard drive. That is in addition to the 500 gigs that you get on the system already. So you still want to have the 500 gigs, you just add an additional storage to it as opposed to just swapping out the actual hard drive. And then really the three and four terabyte versions, once you get them, they, they typically come with external power supplies needed and I didn't really want to deal with that. I do have two Xboxes in my apartment and I have one for my, my gaming area, one in my living room and for these ones all you need is the USB. Literally you just plug it into one system. If you want to take it into the living room, unplug it and just plug it into that USB. It's just a little bit easier and a little bit more convenient for me but overall this whole experience is going to be easy. I've seen a couple of people do it, a couple of videos of it and I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. It's very cake. I just want to show you guys just in case you're on the fence or maybe you just want to see how, exactly how it works before you go ahead and you buy one. I, I feel like eventually almost everybody if you have an Xbox One, you're either going to have to buy a one terabyte model of your Xbox or at some point you're probably going to have to go ahead and buy an external hard drive. But I'm going to show you guys this whole thing live. It's very easy. Like literally, it's just pretty much plug into play. But I'm going to show you guys how this whole process starts right now. Okay, so once you're on your dashboard and you plug in your external hard drive via USB, you get this message that tells you that you're going to need to format your device. And like I said, this works on any external hard drive that is over 256 gigabytes or higher. So then you will go through, you will name your external hard drive, and then you will select whether or not you would like to have all of your future titles and games that you download automatically go to the external hard drive or automatically go to your internal default hard drive. So you will make that decision right here. For me, I wanted everything to go to my, my new external hard drive, so I put it to go there. So after you format it, formatting only takes a couple of seconds. It is extremely fast to format your storage device. But from here, to be able to install games into the external hard drive, you'll go to your internal hard drive right here, and then all of your games that you have on your current hard drive will show up, plus the games that you have already bought and you have saved to your cloud. So you just go to any game you want, you go to manage games. So for me, I'm going to go to Metal Gear Solid. I'm going to go to manage games. And then as soon as you click internal, you just hit move or copy, whichever one that you want. I decided to move it and then just go ahead and move it to the external hard drive. And from there, this process takes um, about five minutes for Metal Gear Solid. When I did Grand Theft Auto, that took about 20 minutes. So obviously the bigger the game, the longer it's going to take. Grand Theft Auto, I believe, is 40-something gigs. So... That is obviously going to be a little bit longer than Metal Gear Solid, which is only 4.8 gigs. So that that that's everything. Like literally, this is as easy as it could get. And literally, you just plug and play. You're able to move the external hard drive to any other Xbox console, and it will work without you having to reformat it or any extra steps. So if you have any questions please go ahead and just leave the question in the comment section below. I'll do my best to make sure I come back and I can respond to each and every one of you. That is it. Please leave this video a like. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D-Lord. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.